Hey there, beautiful being. So uh, I've not posted for a few days. Um, actually, a lot of kind of body dysregulation or kind of nervous system dysregulation going on. So before I go to the office, I'm uh, having a walk in the woods because, uh, you know, we always have a choice, even in the sort of dark, sort of tight stuff. Uh, we can choose to walk this way to work or that way to work or to kind of, you know, pick some kind of novel experience in any tiny small way you know but um i was just reflecting how uh given what i do whatever you would call that spiritual teacher or something like that uh which i hate <laughs> but you've got to call yourself something or people have to be able to call you something uh how people expect you know that you do what you do you have your practice and so on and you know you advocate looking after your body and looking after your life and living from your soul outwards through your body, which is all that I talk about really. Uh, and for that to not be fake, not to be a mental kind of egoic idea. Um, and yet still, you know, people expect you to have some kind of inhuman way of living. And the fact is, is that the way this body uh, grew up and the things that uh, it has lived through, it needs as much care as I can give it. And even with all that, there are periods of uh, sort of dysregulation. And so we can't actually magically bypass anything. We just have to kind of meet it as I meet it. But sometimes, you know, I'm teaching a class or something and I can, you can kind of see the look of kind of like, this guy's not, you know, this or he's not that. He's not my idea of what he thinks, what I think he is, uh, as it were. And, uh, and that's no, because we're just human beings, you know, uh, the actual fullest, uh, sort of spiritual experience is to live this human life with awareness and authenticity and in gnosis of your own soul because once you know your own soul then you know the soul in others too uh, and you see that sort of beyond the conditioning that uh, they're living through and so on and so you have a way hopefully of kind of you know keeping something a bit a bit more real kind of going on in the world Anyway, I'm in my most beautiful woods. I'm going to flip the camera around and just show you my favorite woods. This, whenever I am out of balance, or this body rather, slips out of balance, this is it. This is my woods. There's a railway track right next to it. And what's amazing is it's very close to the town and hardly anybody knows that it's here, uh, which I find a kind of miracle. You get the odd dog walker. Uh, and the odd jogger and maybe sometimes somebody on a mountain bike but not really you know lots of love